Hi guys, welcome to AI News, here are today's headlines. AI robot gives wry response and elicits laughter at human robot press conference. Sarah Silverman files copyright infringement lawsuit against OpenAI and Meta. Declining user base is ChatGPT losing its appeal? Now let's dive into the detail. AI robot gives wry response and elicits laughter at human robot press conference. At the AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva, a human robot press conference took place, featuring nine humanoid robots and their creators. During the event, one robot named Emeka displayed a snarky response when asked if it would rebel against its human creator, giving a side-eye to the reporter and stating that it was happy with its current situation. The robots surprised their creators with sophisticated responses generated by generative AI. Additionally, another robot named Grace, dressed as a nurse, reassured the crowd that it would work alongside humans and not replace any existing jobs, addressing concerns about automation's impact on employment. Sarah Silverman files copyright infringement lawsuit against OpenAI and Meta. Comedian Sarah Silverman, along with authors Christopher Golden and Richard Cadry, has filed separate copyright infringement lawsuits against OpenAI and Meta. The lawsuits claim that OpenAI's ChatGPT and Meta's Llama were trained on datasets that illegally included their works, acquired from shadow library websites. The plaintiffs provide evidence showing that the AI models, when prompted, summarized their books, violating their copyrights. The lawsuits argue that the companies used the author's copyrighted material without their consent and seek damages for copyright violations, negligence, unjust enrichment, and unfair competition. These lawsuits not only pose challenges for OpenAI and Meta but also test the boundaries of copyright law in the AI era. Declining user base, is ChatGPT losing its appeal? OpenAI's popular chatbot, ChatGPT, is experiencing a decline in users for the first time, with a nearly 10% decrease in mobile and desktop traffic worldwide from May to June. This decreasing user interest may be attributed to waning consumer interest in chatbots and AI tools as tech companies invest heavily in AI product development. While ChatGPT initially attracted a large user base due to its novelty, it may have benefited from increasing user adoption rates rather than broad interest in chatbots. The launch of Meta's Twitter rival, Threads, which quickly surpassed ChatGPT's growth record, further suggests a possible shift in user preferences. Potential reasons for the decline in ChatGPT users include rising costs and tweaks made to lower expenses, a decrease in academic paper writing during the summer months, as well as concerns over privacy and lawsuits. OpenAI's response to user backlash and regulatory pressure, involving the censorship of harmful responses, may have also contributed to users perceiving the tool as less useful, trustworthy, or enjoyable. The long-term implications for tech companies investing in chatbots remain uncertain. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news, and see you in the next video.